But all right, um, yeah, today is our last day of our long shot games. Uh, starting next week, we are going to be going over someone different. We're going to go over some Dosapi games. Now, I haven't, I've never studied him before, just letting everyone know. So things are going to be completely new to me. I did flip through one very, very briefly, like literally just scroll through it. And I think, oddly enough, though the games are also, I think, played in the 1600s-ish, right? They're going to be very, very different from what we've been seeing from Longsha, while at the same time being a lot closer to what we see today. So, the games, if you've been looking at these games and thinking, oh my god, I can't take anything away from these games, things are just so freaking bizarre, then the Dosaki games are probably going to be a little bit more uh, uh, up your alley because be able to follow along with those a little bit better. Yep, he is a person who invented the concept of Fusaki. Before then, they were just like, rawr, mid game! I went and got water, and then I put it out of my reach, because that is the level of intelligence I'm operating with today. Alright, so let's go over our last little long shot game. Our last little long shot game. Now, I do have to reiterate this, because someone asked in the previous game as to why the board is going to look as it does. The reason why the board is going to look like this is because back in ancient China, in the 1600s, the board starts off with these lovely diagonal openings with white going first. So those of you who have been asking in the games why this is so, that is why. So we have a board position like this, and white goes first. Now, up until this point, we've been seeing a lot of approaches, followed by a lot of approaches and getting into really, really um, fun fighting almost right off the bat, right? That is what we have been seeing. Uh, not what we're seeing today, actually. Here. We see long shot taken ex or long shot. I don't know. I'm confused about that now. Someone said it's not pronounced uh, with a shot at the end. That's actually more of a she at the end. But someone else said no, it's not right. So I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. So let's just say white. Let's just say white takes this for himself instead. Which we'd be thinking about is a little bit weird nowadays. Like, why would you take the extension when there's really nothing there? Kind of weird. We would expect maybe to even pincer this now as a result. Two space, two space. Let's see what they did back in the day. Oh dear. Did not expect that one. All right, so we're both we're both grabbing extensions for ourselves. All right, I have absolutely no idea, Clefus. I I don't know anymore. All right, so we go there. Now we see the game that we're used to. Go ahead and approaching. Ah, uh, uh, the games that we're used to. Here we go, and now we're going to go and take a large knight. All right, things are returning to normal. These uh, extensions here really threw me for a minute, but now now we're getting back into uh, the games we're used to seeing from this time period. All right, white is going to even approach this right now, putting a lot of pressure on the top left corner. That doesn't mean we're going to defend it, of course. We're not going to be like, oh, hey, look, free territory. And then if you play away, we would probably shoulder hit here to keep uh, control of the one stone. This would be the standard follow-up that we would be considering uh, right now. 
Instead, they're like, you know what? Let's just let's just get into some fighting. Let's just create a very complicated board and get into some fun little fighting. Once again, large knights. Large knights ruled the day. I don't think we will ever see a small knight in any of these games. So now we have a, we have a problem on this board. At least how we would think about this board today, we have a problem on this board. We've got a stone that needs a base. Stone that needs a base. Stone that needs a base. This one can still get a base. It can go either or, either direction. So can this one. But yeah, these three don't really uh, have a lot of time to get bases right now, right? So I would be like, oh, maybe play this one and attack the stone. Maybe go back and kick and then pincer or something. Maybe attach here, expect Hane, uh, settle and go back and do one of them? No, 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 we're not going to do any of that. We're not going to do any of that. We're going to attack again. We're going to just keep approaching. And backing up. And approaching. Prediction. Ah, oh, my prediction's wrong. I'm so sad now. The first sane move of this game, I would say, is this one. I would say this is the first sane move we've seen so far. Because this is getting a base for the stone. It makes sense. It's a stone that makes sense, finally. We're getting a base. Uh, prediction? No. How would they respond to this back in the day? Would they still play here? Yeah, maybe. One of these two, maybe? No, there's no way. What are you going to play? Okay. Yeah, we do defend. Because we have to defend, right? If we don't defend, then like all of this gets connected up. Whoops. That seems kind of slow, though, because we can still play here. Maybe we should do it immediately. Yeah, maybe we should... Maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe we should grab that extension. <gasps> he does! Okay. So how is Black going to settle his stone? He has two stones that he has to worry about right now. He has to worry about these two. Oh, of course. Of course. See, nowadays... Nowadays we'd be playing something like this, maybe? Or here, if we really wanted to keep connection? In order to settle the stone? We want to contact the corner uh, corner gets stronger, we get stronger, maybe we get Sente, and then we can play elsewhere. So you settle here immediately. One thing we don't usually do is jump out of here, because the question of what we're going to get out of the stone is a bit up in the air. Like We're, we're not going to get influence from it very much, right? Because this group already has a base, right? And if we defend the corner, this can't really attack anything. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so he defended there. Oh my god. This next move. This next move. Alright. Everybody. Um... Those of you with weak stomachs might want to look away from this one. You've probably seen this in your game, and you immediately thought, oh my god, I'm playing a Q. Now, 
Nowadays, if we wanted to keep these two separated, we would consider playing something like this and then playing away. Black plays here instead. Black plays here instead. We can see what it does. We can see what it does. It's looking to keep separation. But oh my god. Alright. So white defends himself, obviously. No idea what black is getting out of this. Okay, this one makes more sense. This one here makes more sense. Because we can picture a follow-up, right? This one here makes a lot of sense. What are you going to do, white? Alright, uh, white does defend, as expected. Because you can take nothing for granted in these games. Um, he hit our stone. I would kind of like to connect up. I'd kind of like to connect up, but I feel like it's weak. I mean, ideally, I'd want to follow up this move somehow, but... What, what, where is this thing going to go? Are we going to play here? No, I'd rather die. Oh, okay. He plays the poke. And white answers here. Rather than leave this descent possible, I suppose. And then cut off these two stones. White connects. Right. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, and then black connects. Okay, so he, he agrees connection is really important too. But he poked the shape first to see what's here. Why is the move bad? This one? Uh, nowadays, tempo is like a really important concept. We're usually trying to do things quicker. We're trying to develop um, fast frameworks. We're trying to do things in Sente. And this move was clearly not going to be responded here to give Black Sente to keep playing. That's kind of why the poke here would be a bit more common nowadays, because we poke, and then he answers, then we get a move again. So we were able to disconnect in Sente. This just forced uh, white into a more uh, strong shape, while black was left weak, which is why it's a little bit uh, surprising to us. All right, so black connects up. White says, I got a base now. All right, now we're fixing. Fixing some shapes. Denying any connection or coming out later. Okie dokie. This makes sense for where we are. Now what? Now what, now what, now what? Ooh, white pokey pokies. Alright. Gonna connect. Can never do that without knocking a stone away. The dangers of playing on a real board. Alright, so now. Now what? Now what, now what, now what? We have Sente, right? <clears throat> We have Sente. I mean, we could keep attacking, but really, what's it going to give us? Black already has Ice Shape. So, attacking maybe too soon. If I was white, where would I want to go? I'd want to go here. 
I think this is pretty strong now. I wanna I wanna fight over this. Yeah, I wanna play here. This is my this is my suggestion. Ooh, key close, but no cigar. He goes and plays here instead. Difference, I just invited Black to get a two space extension, because I'm an idiot. Alright. I can I can get behind that idea. My move bad. Ooh, the counterattack. I like. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, question from the integral: What was the estimated level of his opponents? Usually, I've no idea. It's not a handicap game, though. I have seen uh, games where. White has played has given handicap to his opponent, so you ha I have to imagine that at the very least, it's supposed to be you know even or close to even. So all right, got the attachment. The idea here is we're going to lean on the strong group to cut off the stone and thus enlarge our corner. White plays Hane. And black backs off. And white follows. And I guess we back off again? No, we Hane first. Okay. We're not just backing off now, are we? Nope, we're going to cut and then back off. Aha. Uh -huh. Thus potentially rendering this in Sente. Right? Because we have to defend? Do we have to defend? Yeah, surely, right? If this comes out, then the group's in trouble. Alright, got one more forcing move. Hmm. Not sure if I'm really digging this lightest exchange. Because, yeah, we managed to get territory here, but look at the influence that we're giving away in exchange. Hmm. Not sure I'd like that at all, actually. Yeah, we do take that, too. Mm -hmm. Nice and strong position, but okay. We've got some influence here. Um, now go back and deal with the stone? This little stone? Nope. Okay. Screw that stone. We don't like it anyway. Instead, he plays over here to attack two space extension. Okie dokie. Well, extend is obvious, right? Yeah. And then... Also obvious? Yeah. Trying to get over the stones. And then we defend. Maybe... Something like this. Nope. Not at all. Inviting the attack. The danger here is we could see something like this. So now white can't live there locally and has to come out, right? So we can ruin the shape here because he didn't respond. I remember there were uh, very famous handicap games called the Games of Blood and Tears. Those sound like fun games to review. Oh, let's look into those. All right, so white pincer, which means black's obviously going to jump because that's what we did in the day. Yep, and then we're going to defend. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Please don't play it again. Please don't play it. Okay, he played it again. Well, when you absolutely need to d to disconnect your opponent, the diagonal, so it works. 
The diagonal is a disconnect. Which means we're going to jump. Get the impression these are very standard responses. Yeah, look at this. Same thing. Why would you ever play this way, though? I would rather go into the corner and give up that stone than, than be this position right here for black, right? Because, like, what, what, are, what are these things doing? They're just struggling to make shape. And that's it. I am not a fan of it. I, okay, I know we had that let's play like it's the 1600s thing, but I am never playing this variation for black. I am sorry. All right, we extend. Um, I suppose white's leading in terms of territory, right? Because we've got corner, corner. This is nicely dead. Yeah, we have to try to attack, though, because we've got this group to attack for black and that one to attack for black. So it, we've, got we've got potential here. Though the minute we play this variation and attach and stuff, I think our potential is kind of diminishing with every move because this white group is being made really strong. Oh my god. Fun times. So look at the importance of this move right now, right? Imagine this stone stronger. Then you can see what the goal is, like what we're fighting over. We're not really fighting to kill this. Though admittedly the shape here is terrible. We're profiting in the center of the board. That's why when your opponent has influence, like we see here, one thing you usually don't want to do is leave these weird cut points behind. Because right now, I think White's going to definitely look to see how he can profit off of having cut here in relation to the influence. Taking that stone would certainly do it. We now have a group that we're trying to run out. We're dividing. Now we've got two groups here we have to be careful of for black. Hane just threatens to surround the left-hand group. Yeah, this is too much. I am not I am not digging this for black. Tries to cut in return. Gets rid of stone. Yeah, get rid of it. No need to even try and defend. If we get Sente out of this one, Oh man, that's good. If we can play these moves in Sente and go back and secure that center, that's kind of good. That it looks way off center, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm being messy today. That didn't really help matters very much either, but you get the idea. Pushed again. Now we're going to Hane, forcing sacrifice. Atari. Atari. Takes the stone. Um, what size black? Is this side black? Yes. XHU98, hello to you, Zent12, what is going on? Hello to you as well, and Megalol. Hello, everybody. What is going on is we are going over a game from the 1600s uh, from China. We are going over a uh, Langsha game. 
that is very, very unusual. If you have not looked at one of these games' openings, I highly advise you hop onto my YouTubes and check out how these games begin. They are ridiculous. Um, I have a black stone in my hand. Why do I have a black stone in my hand? It's white's turn, right? White, black, capture? I'm gonna verify that, right? Yeah, Atari, Atari, capture, Atari. Yeah, I don't know why I had a black stone in my hand. Connect. And I did it again. I just keep I'm just grabbing out of the wrong uh out of the wrong bowl, I guess. Connect. And then connect. Alright, that's live now, right? This group's alive now, isn't it? We can't falsify that, because we have to Atari. And then we would need to get this in while not being able to lose that stone, which is just not possible. Technically, I guess you could also go an Atari double Atari. So yeah, this is this is alive now. Alright. White defense cutting point, because without it, you can picture this as a black stone into an extension, and then this is cut off, and then those are in are in trouble. Black connects. Um, all right. I guess black has it in mind to try and live in the center. So we're going to turn, or honey, whatever. Now where are we going? We appear to be going on a trip. All right, getting some forcing moves in. Can we live in the middle though? Can we live in the middle? We're almost completely surrounded in the middle, right? If we run this way, we're running into a wall. If we run this way, we have to have like one, two moves in in order to actually connect up, right? So that's going to be tough. What do you do, Black? What do you do? You decide to double honey. Are we sacrificing? White plays the Atari, black connects. White's kind of profiting here too. If he gets like a move in here, then all of that becomes his, which is nice. Plus we can still uh, picture extensions off of it. So this could be uh, quite a bit of territory still down here in the bottom of the board. But all right, what are we doing? What are we doing, Black? Black is poking. White is defending. This game doesn't look even. Okay, now we're going to try and live in the group, in the middle. Oh, kidoki. So, hmm. All right. Technically, we could throw in and then play here, and then this is no longer an eye. All right, guess we're just going to connect. So black is probably going to make shape now, right? Something like this, maybe? Threaten to uh, kill the stone? Maybe connect up all the way? None of the above? All right, none of the above is fine, too. We're going to go after the shape. Clearly, I was worried for nothing. I play Tane. What do you know? So does black. This shape here is not looking all that great. Cuts. Oh, look at that beauty right there. We've got empty triangle and an empty triangle. All 
Hang on a minute. Did you seriously just get those stones killed? I hate you. You all heard that, right? I forgot to disable that. I forgot to disable that. I hate it so much. But alright, it would appear that... Yeah. That is now captured, because we can never play this stone. Like, ever. So it's all about territory now. Who's got more? Well, we've got the, this and the upper right for white. Black's not really making much else besides the bottom left and the upper left. Oh, we're going to go in and try and invade. That is an interesting position. Because we're threatening to go underneath here and follow up the 3-3. Three, three. So it was a good point. I like it. Can we really live back there? Because if we actually do live back there, then white's obviously ahead. Not even doing much reading. Yep, there's the 3-3. Three, three. Oh my god, the shapes we have to make. Courtesy of the Large Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Behold the amazing shapes that we have to make. Is it any wonder why we don't like the large knight so much nowadays? Is it any wonder at all? Because that just lived contemptuously easily. Black is going to respond in kind and see if he can't get something going for himself. White plays the Atari. Why? That's a really important shape point, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Playing Zihane. And connect, I'm assuming. Okay. Good defense. Black is going after the group again. Wait, what if we if wait, isn't wait, but taking a sente, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking a sente. Because now we have to take here to make sure that the group in the middle is gonna be okay. Wait, he didn't? Whoa, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold the phone. Can't we play here now to get this eye in? And then play here, because if we take that... Then this group wouldn't... Uh, Black is done making mistakes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We play here now. Uh oh. Yeah, see? He's trying to get this one in. He's trying to get this defense in. That way we don't have to respond to here because white uh, can't take this move. But it's not going to work. Yeah, we screwed up. Now we're going to connect, aren't we? Yep. Rut row spaghettios. That's sente. That's sente. It's not sente. No, I guess it's technically ko? No. Not even, because we could go here right now. Take and then go here. No, yeah, that, that's the definition of ko there, dum dum. <gasps> no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I did not just drop stone on the board.
Didn't happen. Said we're dropping down. Oh. Hello. I see where this is headed. That's a threat. Corn is completely fine now, at the very least. Now what? Oh, really? We're just going to play here? Not even going to try to kill him? No color or anything? Oh my god, if I did that on stream, people would be, would be yelling at me and telling me that I'm afraid of Ko. Okay. Well, alright. No Ko then. What's plan B there, sir? Oh, plan B is just to go after the middle. Okay. That's a good plan B. I like plan B. Okay. Now we must live in the middle of the board. Can we do it though? Uh oh. It's kind of looking a little sketchy. White connects up. Try and do a Cut and connect on up our group in the center of the board. White says no. Black says yes. But white says no. I think the group in the middle is dead, guys. Um, all right, that makes things a little bit more complicated because there's the peep. Um, <laughs> Alright, that is a little bit more complicated now. Hum da dum da dum da dum da dum. What do we do? Well, I guess we could just get rid of it all. It's a joke, by the way. But they do like their trades. Oh god, is he gonna get rid of it all? Oh my god, he is going to get rid of it all. Okay. Alright, that's that's an idea. That is certainly an idea. Yup. Okie dokie. He's going to do it, isn't he? Uh huh. And then we're gonna go and play the connection. Of course we are. Of course we are. And then that's captured. Okay. Uh, did not expect that to happen. So we just gave up these stones for these stones. That was legit. Are they really completely dead though? I mean, if we play here, then black has to connect, right? And then if we play here, that has to be defended, right? And then if we play here, that has to be taken, right? And then if we push through, that has to be blocked. And then that has to be Atari'd, and then that's dead, isn't it? Or no? We play here into there? Oh, okay. Never mind. False alarm. 
Yeah, once you defend this way, there's nothing there anymore. Because we can't, we can't take either of these two points to Atari. So it's all right. So yeah, this is just dead then. Which move is it? This one. Yeah, that's just dead. Wasn't Black alive by playing B5 in the co-sequence? I don't know, what's B5? Um, no. You're looking at this shape, right? I don't think so, because we already had this on the board, yeah? So it's a question of this move? Yeah, this is this is still fine. Because we had this I form now, thanks to the throw to the sacrifice here. So we play there and then yeah, that, that I we could uh throw out. I mean it creates Aji in the corner. It does create Aji in the corner because by doing that we are potentially um, offering up something like this. So it's very risky. It's very risky. All right, now what? Oh, he plays it anyway. OK, so white plays here, right, last move. And then black plays here to defend against that stuff. Okie dokie. And then white connects. And then black does what? Black plays here. Alrighty. Um, blah, 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 blah. Imagine we're probably going to go back and defend the corner. Wait, black resigns now? Wait, am I going over an unfinished game? Oh no, is this an unfinished game? No, it says white plus. All right, black resigns here. Um, to be fair, I guess we could count. White has a lot of territory here, here if we defend it. This is healthy. This is black's only source of territory right now. Though it is pretty big. Really? White resigns? I wouldn't have thought that just the difference in score that large. But when all you have is one source of territory, I guess I can... It's not usually as large as you think it is. Plus, I guess we could probably reduce now, couldn't we? I mean, at the very least, we could reduce this to the fourth line. It's not like it's going to be fifth and... A little bit of six there, it's probably just going to be the fourth. So it makes that easy to count. And that is nine stones in the middle that are dead. With white adding three extra corners. Yeah, okay. I guess you don't really need to do a whole lot of counting to see who's ahead. All right. So despite the fact that this is all territory, yeah, not quite enough. Though to be fair, since Black goes second in these games, he should really have 6.5 Comey. <laughs> all right. That was an interesting game. Middle is pretty large, yeah. That's true. Because most you can do is like poke in here. Don't really have a whole lot of ways to come into that area, do you? So that's an extra two, four, six, eight. All right. That was an interesting game. 
ended rather abruptly. Cool try in the middle, though. Yeah, very cool try in the middle. All right, I'm going to... Group tax is pretty strange. Can black not play M7? What's M7? If I were M7, where would I be playing? M7. Oh, Pope here? Um... Yeah, I guess that's really changed much, though, right? After M7, you have to bamboo. Then after the bamboo, we're just going to play here. Get reduce, guess it reduces slightly. It's not going to allow us to come in, though. All right. So usually I say that you want to go over these uh, wonderful old games to uh, get a better semblance uh, of shape. Um, no. Not th maybe not this one. Maybe not this one. Opening up as per usual with the diagonals. Do, 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 do. And I think my angle is off. So I want to try to put these stones as high up on the line for me as I can. Because that's oddly centered for you. Okay. Hello, some sum. So white goes first. Yeah, that looks good. So what do we have here for us today? We are going to approach a bit more of a traditional game, it looks like. Oh, not traditional at all. Pincers, it's super wild. It's not really a pincer, this is just a split, let's be honest. What server is this? It's not a server. I'm going over games from the 1600s on a real board. All right. Now we're getting into the large knights that we all know and love. And the approaches. Okay. We're kind of reverting back to orthodox here. Welcome to the Orthodox opening of the 1600s. Now we're approaching. Yep, yep, yep. We're not going to respond. No, 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 no. Now we're going to approach again, right? Oh, uh, we're getting a base for ourselves. Okay. And now we're pincered, so we're going to jump. Right? Yeah, we are. But now what do we do? I mean, surely, even in the 1600s, we don't want to be surrounded, right? Like, even back then, surrounded, we don't want to... Okay, screw being surrounded. I don't want to, I don't mind being surrounded. Being surrounded is fun. We're going to play away. All right. So we're going to come out now. But we don't go into the 3-3 because screw that noise. We're pushing white into surrounding us? Seriously? He's not surrounding. They don't care about surrounding things in this game. They don't care. Like right now I'd be like, don't let this happen to you. But they're like, meh, who cares what happens to me. More important thing is to make sure that our opponent can't build anything either. Forget us building anything. As long as our opponent can't build anything, we're good. Making a base, because why not? All right, we're approaching everything now. Oh, getting into contact. And then high, yep, yeah, all right. And then turn, we don't extend. I'm getting used to this. Uh, that was black's move, right? Yeah, okay, so white. We're gonna bend down, or not bend, oh god. Um, extend down. 
And then we're going to Hane. I think that was Jiseki back in the day, right? Yeah, okay. And then Atari? No, not Atari. Oh, right. Push first. Nowadays, we wouldn't really be playing uh, here so much. We'd probably be playing more along the lines of something like this to defend, if we could. Because this is going to get a pe uh, peep. Yep. Okay. Because there would be Aji in them hills. Look at the wonderful bad shape that Black has now. Wait, I let someone go twice, didn't I? Back up. Poke, Phil, Atari, and then Atari? Nope, we're going to actually connect. Oh god, okay. So it looks good so far, right? Black Tari. Okay. This group is fine. Which means we're going to connect the top, aren't we? Okay. But that means we have Sente for, uh, for Black now, right? Do we take the stone? Did it take? So if our opponent plays there, we could run out and then cut through. Yeah, this isn't a threat. Because we'll get stone here, stone here, and then this will just cut through and kill a corner. In exchange for, like, maybe losing something over here. So yeah, who cares? All right, we're settling another group. Games reverting into something assembling, resembling uh, uh, sanity. White defends by attacking the other group. Curious if they knew what the B two bomber shape. Probably not. Though it does make you wonder if they have another uh, word for that shape. Alright, we're extending. Putting a lot of pressure on these black two stones. Oh, black's dealing with it quite fine. Just defending himself. Now we back off here as black, right? No, we're going to Hane. Oh my god, that's aggressive. That means we get to play here, right? This is the follow-up? Yeah, it is. So we Atari to live in the corner, but then the other two stones. See, this is the thing that, lo that White does in a lot of his games. Like, I would assume that you would go out of your way bending over backwards to ensure that you do not give him two things to attack. Because when you do that, the game seems to be going very, very, very badly for you. Yet to review a game where White had two groups to attack and he didn't get a good position. So wouldn't you, under any circumstances, not give yourself two groups to attack? Like, at some point you have to hear about this guy's reputation, right? Bat, what do you think would happen if you went up against someone from the 1600 with near modern Go knowledge? Um, I don't know. Am I allowed to open up with 3-4? Behold! The micro Chinese Fuseki. <laughs> A 
Centauri. Gonna take, of course. Where's that stone? There it is. And then white extends up. Yeah, we're just splitting. That's all we're doing here. We're just sente. Oh, my sente. Extend down, right? Yeah. Alright. He is going after the cutting point. We're going to save the top stones. Yep, okay. That right there is a huge decision to make. He's like, you have to defend yourself in two places at once. You have to defend yourself in two places at once. But can white profit off of this enough to have sacrificed this frigging corner? So how do we do it? 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 This is not severe enough because we're just going to extend out. I think we have to go and play here. Full on enclosure. Hope for the best. This lives though, doesn't it? Yeah. This is going to live. If we play here, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. Maybe something like this. Or here. This is the shape that we're making, right? I think this is Sente as well. I don't think we can kill this. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is gonna die. Oops, too many stones. Get rid of that stone then I will. Yeah, this is gonna die. Alright, so you're gonna Hane. Then we're gonna, yep, okay. And then extend. Yep. Oh god, this is freaky. I can read ahead. Yep. Holy crap. That is Sentai. And we do extend up. And then we finish it off with the thingy. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, Kidoki. White turns. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe my life and death sucks. Maybe this is dead. What? Is this really dead? Hum. It looks like. I was wrong, because the turn is insane. I thought we were alive. I'm bad at the... Wait, no. There's the cut. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we're going to cut now, right? Only choice? He is going to cut. I remember this when I flipped through it. He's going to cut. And we have to Atari. And extend. And semi-Atari. Semi-Atari is when you bring the stones to two liberties instead of one. And extend. Black is trying everything in order to live. Okay. Extends out. Ladder doesn't really seem to go good places.
trying to surround. Ooh. Getting tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Completely surrounded. Also forcing life. Now we get to surround because it forces a connection. So we did it in Sente. And then black has a pretty reasonable attack in the middle. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of liking black right now. I'm kind of digging black's position. I like the attack that we've got going on here. I like the profit that we picked up down here. The upper left hand corner is something we will never speak of ever again. Why well, I said defend this stone, right? Uh, or no. White is not going down that easy. I'm officially confused. I think he's strengthening himself because he sees two possibilities. Possibility number one and possibility number two. But I thought we were going to use this as a harassing tool so we could kind of like build up the middle. Whoa. Yeah, I thought we were going to use this, these weak stones here to harass and build up the middle so we could go back and like do something like this. Okay, they don't do that in those days. Something like this and like focus the attack on this side of the board. That's kind of why I was liking this whole thing. Apparently not. I play the Atari. Black takes. What's Atari? Oh. Oh my. Oh my. I thought the only thing they knew how to do was play here. Or play here. But no. Black is going greedy. Black is going greedy. He's like, I'm taking all of this for myself. I swear to God, if I hit those stones one more time, cut off my fingers. He's going greedy, greedy, greedy. What do we do now? Oh, of course, we're going to try to live in here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is my poke. Okay. That is the danger of the fifth line move. That is why the, that's the danger of the fifth line move. Oh man. Okay. Yup. Now how do we deal with this? Oh, that's going to be painful. Giving away a base, 
Oh man, there's so much Aji back there though. Oh no. Connected up. Cutting through. Oh dear, the corner has now been isolated. This corner is in isolation. Wow, that greed is not going well for him. You can see a black white developing shape here through these moves. Okay, now he has to go back and live in the corner. So you cannot stop him from coming out. Or poking at the corner again. Really? Really? Okay, uh, why we, why, 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 why? Because you have this and this, that's why. This means you have to throw in to kill. This means if you throw in to kill, these stones are screwed. Okay. Hmm. So you're saying if black goes here, the word's going to go and kill this or something? Alright, so I guess we're going to defend. Nope, we're going to extend. Uh, okay. But what about the push? Yeah, like that, right there, exactly. Don't tell me this is gonna die. Huh, nay? Uh oh, we're going Kung Fu fighting again. Tari. Bomber shape. This isn't looking healthy. This is not looking healthy at all. Oh, right, there was the co. I remember now. We're going to play here. We come out. Black says no joy. We come out. Black says no. Wow. Black is being so aggressive here. Defending his cut point and trying to surround the group. White plays the Atari because we are counterattacking. This is this move's interesting. It's inviting him to cut right out of stone, so we get these two, right? And at that point, we can go back and cut. Because we'll have liberty, 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 so we can cut that. Black throws in. White takes. Um, black plays to try to kill. My god, black is being so aggressive this game. completely surrounded. That makes this side really strong now for black. Grab in the corner. 
or the, not the corner, the uh, base. Now we're getting into having to live. So the code initiates. Oops, huge code too. Local. White pushes. Black can't connect, obviously, otherwise, no good. White takes. Black has no choice but to take as well. And then I'm guessing we go into here. And then we have target, we have a local threat. Local threats are really, really good. So we take that. And then take the stone. All right, now we need a threat for white. Now we need a threat for white. So where's white's threat? Um, blah, 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 blah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's a threat. Makes sense. So we go and take, and then we're going back to co. Just a small, huge co, don't worry about it. It is a bit complicated, that is true. This game is very violent. Um, wait, I feel like I'm retarded. No, we're good. All right, white plays over here, black takes. White plays the attachment to follow up. Black connects. Dead stones, dead stones. Pretty big corner. All right. Playing the Hane. Defensive measure. Fascinating. He is super alert to his group because he's defending and then he's even taking. Because this isn't really an eye yet, right? We've got like a poke here and we've got like an attachment here. So this isn't an eye, this is not an eye yet. So he's being very, very cautious of this group. So he's even taking a stone. That's very, very messy. I'm sorry. Um, where does white go? I missed it. Oh, white takes over here. Takes his profit. Black's like, you are never attacking me. White's like, okay, I've got my profit already. And then we're going to try to invade. All right. We have Aja to work with locally. White responds. Looking for that Aji's. Oh, we might turn, but I guess we're gonna cut. Not sure what we're doing up here. Go for another co. Tiger's mouth? No.
참. I would throw back in there at the 2 2 point. He doesn't. Why not? You're saying this is not a good move? Why is this not a good move? Because I would connect, cut, cut, and then we have our two stems that are in a little bit of trouble. But the top scope is fine, so couldn't we like grin and bear it? Doesn't have that many liberties. One, two, three, four, five. We can get five liberties on that group. Guess we're playing here. And white doesn't care because he's playing larger moves. He's not giving the attack that black wants to black. He is instead going after his own attacks. Which black is also trying to resist. Alright. We're now trying to make the cutting point work. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Oops. Honey in response. Just gets cut because we're looking for Aji. Does not get to Atari through. So we get to Atari here. We're not going to give up the stone. That would be way too big. Now we get to play the cuts. Which forces into the Atari because we don't want to give up the two stones. We only have two liberties, so we have to take and capture, I'm going to assume. Or not capture, but Atari. That's a threat to capture the two stones. Could still live back here. Just play here, take, and then there, but that's Gote, so we're probably not going to do it. No, I didn't think so. The middle would die if we went back and lived in the corner again. So we've got that. Not Sensei, so we can Hane. Because that's not double Atari, we just take. Well, it's double Atari, but we just take and this goes away. Playing the Hane. Responding in kind, because this group is trying to leave us. We're almost out, but not quite. Almost out, but not quite. Black extends. White surrounds. That is certainly Aji full. And now we're cutting. Okay. So if we can hold that dead, that is a lot of points. But the question is, can we hold it? Black plays the Atari, so we're going to counter Atari, I assume. Then we're going to extend, I right? Yeah, okay. And then the Atari into Atari because these stones are still in trouble. Whoops. Lights move. Now we take and we're almost alive. Ah, did it again. There we go. Almost, almost, so close. 
I keep grabbing a black stone, I don't know why. Threatening capture. White says, I'm leaving. Pursuing. Extends down. Looks like he's going to be able to capture those stones in the middle anyway. And then this is the part I remember where I said blood, white shape wasn't doing that great. Because you can see the, the just mess of stones that he's playing right now. Connect it on up. And we connect, right? No, we don't. What do we do? Oh, we drop down. Right, get that in center. I guess. Maybe. Can we? I mean, it's not alive yet, right? If we throw in here, we're not live locally? Uh, okay. If we played here, and then White's going to Atari. Now this is finally secured. Really, we're defending our stones. Oh yeah, with this uh, alive, we can still do dude, and then this is not alive. Okay. So we have to Atari here, which opens up a co. So we take. And black has to find a threat. Threatening those would be very, very bad. Because this would still die, but if here, then there. Which means what happens to this group after this is cut off again? Can't we just like connect there? Extend first, maybe? Extend and then cut? Puts this group in trouble again? Bad either way. And then black takes. Threatening to capture. Double Atari. White takes. Um, interesting threat. Threat for the three cents on the left-hand side. Says no. I don't think white's allowed to lose this cow. If white loses this cow and loses those stones on the left-hand side, that'd be huge. That'd be too large. There's no way white loses this co. Does black run out of threats? Black takes. Okay. Like I said, white's not allowed to lose that co. Uh. Um. Uh huh. -huh. I have only one mild, I have a tiny, teeny, smallest little question. How in the Sam hell is this not fl this flat out dead now? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that all dead? Because we, the only thing we can do is play. Yeah, this is dead. All we can do is play here, and that gets poked. This is not an eye. 
we connect here, we're surrounded, so who cares? Oh my god. Alright. Um... Yeah, so... White's now dead there. So now what are we going to do? Black's move. He's defending himself. <laughs> it's possible your mom watches this. I did get a message from someone that says that their family watches these Go videos because they're all into Go. And I thought that was very adorable. I'm like part of their family Go night. <laughs> oh please, someone explain to me what's, what's going on in this game. Threatens... So, all right, so all of this is dead then. So all of that is dead, right? Like, with this last move by white, we can't get an eye here. And we can't get an eye here. Simultaneously. So white extends. Black makes a few more points. Oh man, there's so much dead. So these stones are dead. These stones are dead. Those stones in the corner died, so white's alive there. Those stones are dead, and then these stones are also dead. I think I missed that kill. I think I went over this game too fast. I missed that that actually died. And it died with the peeping stone here. It died back when this peep was played. Yeah, the peep was played, then we dropped down. White then uh, took these, or uh, played the Atari on these two stones that were here to solidify the Aji there. And then we had the Cohen here. Which is also why this Co threat was worth so much. Because the stones in the center were all dead. Remove dead stones, see what it looks like. What, all of them? That is what the board looks like without all the stones dead. I think I have that right. Yeah. That's a crazy game. That is so many dead things. Well, it does have a pretty fascinating advantage. Yeah. Those are the stones that are dead for the respective sides, in case you're curious. A lot of dead things.
lot of dead things. The sheer amount of dead stones on this board. Here's something funny. Um, here. Here's something interesting. Here's something interesting that you'll find. In, here's something that you'll find interesting. Uh, back to the very beginning of the game. The very beginning of the game. Oops, sorry. Very beginning of the game. La 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 la. Usually I can play out a game immediately. These ones, however, kind of throw me off, so bear with me for a minute. Though you can probably see what I'm doing. Right? You can see immediately what I'm doing. Nope, this one, sorry. You should be able to tell what I'm doing. I guess screwed up. Uh, no. No, no. You attach, dum dum. Honey, let's pretend like we know how to play this game. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. This will take slightly longer than anticipated. We are doing right now. I'm sure everyone knows. Da -da 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 da 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 And we had this. 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 I missed something somewhere. Yeah, I did do. I did. Oh well. Um, I missed that one. That's the only way we get this shape. I had white play twice. Whatever. Close enough. Do 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 Almost done, almost done, almost done.
Almost. 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 I have the order here wrong. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. And throw in whatever. Um Then we played here, and then we played Super Greedy Move, and then we kind of laughed at it, and we were like, ha ha, bad shape. And then we made this over here. And then we went down. And we dropped through. There we go. That is all the captures in this game. This is how far we were able to play using all of the stones that were captured in the game. That is what we did. Nope, I didn't replay the whole I didn't do full replay. All I did was I used the captures from this game to replay the game to see how far we got. And that's how far we got. Using all of the captures in this game, we get to this point. This is where we this is where we run out of stones. That's insane. That's crazy. So yeah, that's that's this game for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let's see, we'll be back of course tomorrow. Um, we ranked up to Sixton on Foxy, so we're going to be playing a lot of uh, Sixtons. I think we'll be doing very well because last time I checked, uh, we had a nice positive score against uh, Sixtons, so I don't anticipate them being particularly troublesome. 